Hey, I'm Lucas and welcome to this tutorial for how to use ChatGPT for getting things done. I've built a custom GPT called the Getting Things Done Assistant. Link in the description, try it out yourself. Let's walk through it together. It's prompted to help you walk through the stages of GTD during a setup phase, after which it should be able to always tell you what the next actions are that you can do right now based on your context. So let's click Initiate Setup to see how it works in practice. Clicking Initiate Setup presents this welcoming message where our first goal is to capture. So now we are prompted to do a little mind dump here. It already gives some suggestions, work-related tasks or projects, personal to-dos, errands, events or deadlines, but it can really be anything. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll write bananas, write video script, start business, and let's just stick with those three and see what the GPT thinks we should do with it. As you can see, it really walks you through it. It says we have three items here. Let's move on to the clarify stage and process each one individually, which is exactly what we want. Now, if you are aware of how GCD works, it's important to not just stick with keywords like those traditional post-its that you paste onto your fridge or something, but it's important to be precise and clarify exactly what something is. For example, with bananas, it's asking us to do so by prompting us to think about it. Is this just a reminder to buy bananas or does it involve a bigger task or project? Write video script. Is this a single task or a part of a larger video project? If part of a project, What's the goal or topic? Next action, once clarified, we'll identify the next actionable step. Start business. That sounds like a large project. Is there a particular area or type of business you have in mind? We'll also outline the first step to take here. Let me know a bit more about each item and we'll organize them from there. So let's go ahead and do that for bananas first. This is actually just an errand. I need to get bananas. Now we can do this all at once or we can do this one after the other. So if I just submit this one thing, obviously we still have these two left and we don't want to jump to organizing before we clarify the other two. So let's see what happens when we submit just one. And here we can see that indeed it still remembers that there are these other two unclarified, unprocessed items. For write video script, I'm gonna go ahead and provide a little more explanation so that ChatGPT knows how to organize it. We'll skip ahead in the video until we've arrived at my prompt. Now that we've written the clarified prompts, we can submit it and see how this GPT handles it when processing. For the video script, we have a larger project. For starting the business, which is a flower store, we have this as a someday maybe list, which it correctly interpreted based on my prompt that it's a goal of mine that I can't get at the moment, but I don't want to forget about it. For the video script task, it's actually a project called Video Creation Book Review. The next action is to write the script, but there are other steps in the project that I've provided and that the GPT has properly organized as such. Creating the thumbnail, recording the script, finding B-roll, editing the video. The first next action though is writing the script. So this all looks good. With this setup, your next actions will include buy bananas and write scripts for video. The projects will track your ongoing video project and we've set up start business in the Sunday maybe list. Would you like to add any further details or shall I proceed to outline contexts like location and energy as such for each next action? Well, actually, I do want to clarify it a bit further because the video creation project is one that is both parallel and sequential in the sense that I can already start creating the thumbnail and writing the script in random order. But recording the script, finding the B-roll and editing the video all follow one another. And I wanna make that more clear because I don't think it understands that just quite yet. So that's what I'm gonna tell it and we'll jump back to the video once that prompt is written. All right, we've written the prompt. And remember, we can also, of course, record this, but for the sake of this video, I'm writing it. So let's submit that. 
Further clarification on the video project. Thank you for clarifying the sequence. Here's how we'll handle this sequential project setup. And it perfectly understands. So that's really good. And now it asks us, do we have anything else to capture or shall we proceed to add context to the task? So that's what I'm gonna have it do. Let's start adding context. Let's see what it tells us to do. Maybe it already has some suggestions. And indeed it does. So for buy bananas, the context is errands or at grocery store. So it's very much location-based. For writing the video script, it suggests the computer context, since it's likely a digital task, or if there's a specific energy level of focus you'd like to assign, like high focus. Let me know if these work or if we'd like to change them. I actually do want to change the one for writing the video script. I want to be more precise and have the context be more sort of this mode of being, meaning it's writing. Maybe I have other writing tasks as well that I want to tackle in one go. So I'm going to go ahead and write that prompt again and we'll skip ahead in video. All right, we've written the prompt, so let's submit it. And now we've set in stone that write video script has the writing context. It's already suggesting a few others as well. And it takes into account that I want to have these activity type based contexts when suggesting the others. So for recording the script, it suggests recording instead of computer. For finding B-roll, it suggests to research. For editing the video, it suggests editing. Again, assuming that I may have other recording, researching or editing tasks, and that is how I prefer to design. So it's really smart. It can take these clues and make it very personalized just for you. For creating thumbnail, the context is design. Overall, that works for me. I just want to change create thumbnail to Photoshop and then we can call it a day with context. So again, I'll see you in a moment when I've written the prompt. So in this case, I'm adding this level of complexity to its logic by saying Photoshop is actually my only design tool. So for anything relating to design, we can just call it that. Whereas with these other modes of BMA have a variety of tools that I bundle when I do them, like writing, recording, and researching. So that's the final change I'm suggesting here. Got it. It's updated it. And now here are the finalized contexts for all the tasks we've entered into our system so far. And remember that ChatGPT now has memory. So any future tasks that it may believe fall into a similar context it will apply them to the context you've created instead of creating new ones that are very similar, but create clutter. This should provide clear focus to context to work within each phase of the project. Let me know if you need any further adjustments or if you're ready to move forward. Well, let's move forward for now and see what the next step is. With everything captured, clarified and organized, we're ready to wrap up and enter the engage stage. And here's a quick overview of your setup. We have these two next actions, buying bananas, which is an errand and writing video scripts, which is a writing task. Now, the one thing it didn't quite understand just yet is that creating the thumbnail for the video isn't just a non-sequential task, but it's also a next action. It's not being blocked by anything. So I will quickly correct it. And this is something you will need to do, especially during initial setup so that it understands how you speak, how you organize your setup. That's exactly what I intended to show with this video in that this is not a traditional piece of software. Of course, it's very conversational. It creates its own outputs. It reasons in unique ways instead of having this traditional column row database type of structure. It's really your own thing and it starts becoming a powerful assistant the more you use it and the better it understands you let's do one final adjustment and then we should have a good list of next actions i've now supplied the correction and now it understands we have these three next actions which is correct now we can either go like this and just know based on the context we're in what we should do, or we can ask it. What's my optimal next action to focus on right now? And of course it doesn't know something. So it asks you or gives you ideas 
on how to decide on something, buying bananas requires being out, ideally near a grocery store and errands run. Writing context typically requires moderate to high focus and a quieter setting, so ideal if you're ready for concentrated work at a computer. Good for creative work and probably moderate focus, though it may need less intensive concentration than script writing. And here it provides you these if-then statements, these recommendations, and then you can be on your way. Let's assume that we've now written the video script and see how it then handles the sequential logic for that particular project. I've written the video script, what's next? And now it says, since your video creation book review project is sequential, the next actionable step is now recording the script with context being recording. I'll move it to your next actions list, replacing write video script. Your updated setup looks like this. I hope this gives you a really exciting preview of how this GPT works. As you can see, it requires some careful prompting and corrections at times. But if you use it more frequently, it will be a powerful personal GTD assistant that talks to you in a way that you prefer. Of course, these are all prompts that you can add to it. It will remember. And I'm just excited to see what direction you may want to take this. I've shared this publicly. Of course, you can reprompt this in any way you see fit so that it can be the most powerful AI-based GTD assistant out there. So hope that is as exciting to you as it is to me. I will admit this is not a daily driver for me at this point, but I am exploring it actively. I'm trying to really make it work in an intuitive way. And again, I'm just very excited to hear how it may work for you. So leave your ideas, use cases, experiences in the comments, and let's see how we can take GTD into the AI era.